Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my channel, Top90. Uh, today we got a special episode coming to you because we're my favorite players. Um, and he is one and only Raja Nainggolan. Uh, he's got a high, high work rate, five foot nine, uh, three star wake foot, three star skills. The three star wake foot to me is not an issue. Uh, along with him, we're going to have Island paired up with him to the left. Uh, if you haven't used this guy, he is the Calciao A version of Conte. If you haven't used him already, he's an awesome player to use. Uh, mostly because he's in the Calciao A and he's Brazilian, so he helps link up those hybrid teams. Um, behind him, I'm going to have Koulibaly and Tonelli. An untradeable card, Tonelli and Shadow Koulibaly. This dude is so strong, so powerful, that if, if I give him anchor, I'm afraid I'm going to be getting red cards with him. Um, I've gotten two pins already with this guy out of two games that I've <laughs> two games that I've used him. Mostly because I do play aggressive, and that one of them was my fault. The other one was kind of iffy, but you know I press I press circle to try to pull the guy back in, and he just straight he just he just melted him, man. He melted him into the pitch. Uh, so there it was, boom, pin. Next to him, I have uh, Vangioni, who I've not used very much, and I don't know if he's going to be good or not, but we're going to give him a shot. Uh, up in front of him, he's going to be pairing up with Banega to get that uh, perfect link. Uh, Banega's an amazing player to me, one of my favorite cams so far. The reason he's not playing cam is because we have this five-star skiller here that I want to give a try. On the right side on the defense, we have one of my, actually, I would say my favorite player I've used in FIFA this year, um, and that is Florenzi. I have this guy since like the beginning of the game. I bought him for 108000 This dude is going for 200 k right now. Um, he's played 321 games for me, 14 goals, 23 assists. Um, what did I say, eight yellows? Eight yellow cards. Uh, that's pretty good how many games he's played for me, considering I haven't really played that many. Uh, so we're going to use him. We're going to use my newfound goalkeeper that has taken over Gianluigi Buffon SBC. Um, that SBC Gianluigi was not, to me, not a very good card. I thought it was kind of a ripoff because in game he plays terrible. Uh, his gold card is better than his uh, SBC. If you have a lot of Gianluigi Buffon and it's gold, you did good if you didn't do his SBC because I hate his SBC and as much as I love Buffon, I keep going back to him. He keeps letting me down. I switch from Kim Styles. Does okay for a while. Goes back. I don't know. His card might be broken. Who knows? But it's a trash card, and I hate using it. Um, with that being said, we're gonna. The main focus here is to see how Nangolen does in game. He's a very expensive card, very expensive card. That I'm hoping to, uh, it was an investment for me. I'm hoping it goes up a lot. He's got a high cap. Uh, what that means is like uh, I think his maximum sell price is three million. So he's got a high cap. I'm hoping this price goes up. And if it doesn't, well, then we had some fun with him because obviously we're going to lose that 5% that he ate hoses out of every time we buy and sell a player. Our first opponent is a hybrid team. Got a little bit of a BPL and a BBVA. What a tank. What a tank. Oh my god, we couldn't find an opening, boys. We couldn't find an opening. We couldn't make one either. I'm disappointed. First touch was poor. Florenzi. Sal! Bah, Sal, you beast! Nice easy pass. Great ball control. Sal puts it in. Left foot, too. That's what I'm talking about, boy. Steal. Ball roll left, and Sao is gone. The boy is fast. Oh, he caught me, man! Come on, ref. That's a. It's got to be a red, bro. At least a yellow. If you don't give him a yellow, we got a problem here because. <sighs> Not even a yellow. Damn, he kept coming at me. Oh, come on. How's he going to do it like that? And he celebrates. They have been the better side. Are you kidding me? Yeah, son. Yeah, son. Gonna come up in here and try to act like you're the better player. Get out of here. Nangolin, boys. Nangolin coming forward again to get that goal. <laughs> That's gotta be so annoying. 
I'm not gonna lie, that's gotta be so annoying, dude. Why would he kick it? Oh, we fucking get another one to top it off with Nongo Lin. Yes, yes, yes. Great player, boys. He's a great player. Look at him making that run. Look at him making that run. Nobody told him to make that run. He fucking does it anyways. What a beast. Come up against a bronze and gold team. I'm, my guess is he's going to quit eventually. What is he doing, though? Like, why do you come into these friendlies and play with these teams? I'd like to know what, what, what the tri what's the trick to it, but what's the purpose of this? Um... I can understand if you at least have a full bronze or gold, full Kim team, but this guy, this guy. <laughs> we'll see what he's got. We're going to play him. Left foot. Oh, come on, man. I'm trying to try out that weak foot. Bounces off Caviadini, who's sitting idle in the middle of the box. Which, I guess if I was actually trying to play, probably passing it to him would have been a goal. Anticipating something special from him here today. He's one of the best ball players in this league. In world not football. today, son. Not today. Trying to switch. Great touch on the ball. Ah, oh, come on, come on. Potential in this move. And there is some backup for him in this position. This could be danger with this passing. Boom, son. Get punished. <laughs> I saw him slide in there, which is, I mean, to begin with, sliding in the box is never a good idea like that. Not when you have a, a player backing up into you. Uh, head on, maybe, but the way he did it was not a good idea. And uh, Fernandez definitely let him have it for it. Gabbiadini through the air, boys. The dude is good. shot oh what a shot look at that little chip give me a shot man made it look easy actually Position. They've worked this attack very well. Why, why can I get one? Oh my god, dude, we've got to get one eventually. We have to. Right there, post up, roll back. And he just straight plows through Berkey, dude. Berkey had no chance. Well, he did have a chance, but he didn't get it, so. Replay confirming for us here that the goalkeeper did get a touch, but not strong enough to keep the ball out of his net. Strong challenge. <laughs> strong is right. Fucking shook my controller. Moving forward, and he could get away here. Damn, dude, come on. I mean, I could have taken that all the way, but the beast. It's looking good this move. Oh, with the left foot. The oh my God, dude! Raja's technical dribbling is nuts. Not only because he's good at dribbling, but because he's so strong. Where if there's ever a chance where a player can try to get some body on him, it's not gonna affect him. And he, it looks like he sliced it, but I'm going to call that an outside foot shot. But his technical dribbling with his strength paired up, his agility, speed, his aggression just makes him a nasty in the midfield, man. 
So nasty. Goals Raja 2, own goals none. Uh, goal assist was Toti and Saul. What a beast, Toti. Um, shots on target, 9 out of 17. Dude, we ripped so many with him, but we could not get that long shot. Um, so, right on. We're going to play one more, and we're going to wrap it up. We hope this last one, we can get that shot we've been looking from, from Raja. We want that out. We want that out of the box shot, that that bomb from far away that we know he's capable of doing. Um, that's what we want, but we haven't got it. And it's a little disappointing, but it's a matter of time. That's, that's what I, so if he can get one in this last game, we'll be pretty happy. We'll be pretty stoked. Here we go, Columbia FC. Musa, Mares, Marcial, Pereira, Firmino, one of my favorite players. Uh, Emre Khan, um, Kosilny. That a boy. That a boy. That aggression, though. Matthew Fernandez. Sal. And it gives it back to it. It's a quick break. Oh my God! With a left foot, are you kidding me? Have we? Is he left footed? <laughs> He's not, not, because he takes his free kicks with his right foot. But holy fuck, boys! I I know it wasn't as long as I'd wanted it, because it's at the top of the box. But look at him ram this in there with his left foot to the top of the corner. Stay with the team of the years. Um, the team of the years feel a bit more refined. Uh, for example, I've used Iniesta and Modric. Obviously, their dribbling, their agility, the way they move around the field, the way they're jumpy, they're quicker. They're quicker, but not just quick, and he's got that strength and aggression. Uh, he, he has everything that I would say I would need in a midfielder. He's got the high, high work rate, which I like to have one or two players playing on my team that have the high, high work rate, at least one usually. Um, you can run him at CDM if you're high attacking. You don't really care much to have a CDM sitting at the back the whole game. Um, you can play him at cam. I've played him at cam. He played good at cam. He can have, he has a long shot. He has a hold up play. He's got the, the dribbling. Uh, he doesn't have four star skills, but if you know a couple three star skills, you don't need that much to, to try to get in there and penetrate the defense. Um, sending in from the goalie, the goalie sends it in. Raja posts up. He wins headers. Uh, to me, it's important to be able to win headers. You maintain possession that way, especially when you're kicking out of your goal. I hate losing those. It's it's simple giveaways that are going to kill you in the end. And Raja helps you avoid a lot of those simple things that, that you don't that you don't have completely in the midfield here. So in the end, is he worth 108 or 800 and something thousand? He is. He really is. Uh, mostly because people are already playing 800 and something thousand for other for other players like the team of the years. Um, that and I think this guy's going to go up in price eventually. Uh, he's hopefully doesn't get another end form. If he does, it's going to be tough for them to give it to him because he's rated so high already in all his stats. His team of the season is going to be nasty. Until then, I hope this is all his highest in form because this prize should go up. Um, hopefully, when the food champs come around this next week, I, if he goes up enough money, I might not be using them anymore. I might have to sell them. Uh, maybe get his doubt, his his uh, first in form. But with that being said, thank you guys for checking into my channel. I appreciate all of you. Uh, hit me a like on the bottom. Uh, subscribe. Give me a comment. Any advice you have. This is my only second video. This is only my second video I'm posting up. So obviously, I still have a long way to go. But uh, thank you again. Until next time. Peace.